Good morning Google. As requested for verification purposes, Swoopler is demonstrating its two applications, Tandem Vids and Run Run Vids. Now Run Run Vids is basically a rebadged version of Tandem Vids. Tandem Vids was originally created for skydiving companies to produce Tandem videos for their customers. It produces various different formats, one of which can be uploaded to YouTube. Run Run Vids is identical. This is Run Run Vids that you're watching now. So we're just creating a couple of very simple videos here. Uh, the, the real videos are much more complicated obviously but just to speed up rendering and demonstration we've created two simple videos and once they've been rendered out they'll be sent to the YouTube application which is a separate application and that pretty much just uploads the video straight to YouTube. So we'll just jump over to the advanced settings and refresh that tab so that you can see both videos there and we'll select them and click the upload button and what that does is go out if it's already got a token from Google it will use that existing token uh, saved locally otherwise it will request a token as you're seeing here I'll just show you the link up the top as requested in your email and I'm just going to authorize run run vids to use my account to upload videos now at the moment the app isn't verified which is a bit of a pain so the client will see all this rigmarole here and you can see it's just asking to manage my YouTube account and upload videos now at the moment those two videos are being blocked because I've been trying to make this video all weekend and I've run out of my quota so I can't actually demonstrate at the moment using Run Run Vids, so what I'm going to do is delete those two videos and switch back to Tandem Vids. As you'll see, it's the application is almost identical. Now, Tandem Vids has been uploading videos to YouTube for nigh on 10 years, I think a little over 10 years actually, without any dramas. Um, but just recently, in fact, just in the last few days when I've been testing Run Run Vids for release, I've noticed that Tandem Vids is now not verified. So we get that same page. And I wasn't aware of this, so I need both applications to be verified as soon as possible. Tandem Vids is in the market, it'll stay in the market. Uh, Run Run Vids is replacing it, but there will be many users that don't upgrade to Run Run Vids and they'll be using Tandem Vids indefinitely. So I need both applications verified and uploading with those quotas removed. So I've just done exactly the same thing with Tandem Vids as we did with Run Run Vids. I've created two simple videos. Uh, selected the YouTube output format have uh, been loaded into the YouTube application here I'll just refresh that page so we get both of those and that's doing the same thing it's gone out and requested authorization for my account to use for Tandemvids to use my account to upload the videos so I've just authorized Tandemvids there now I wasn't aware of this but Tandemvids is now non-verified as well. I don't know if that's got something to do with the name change. I was using the same account to upload. It's probably flagged something in there as different. I now have registered both applications as separate applications within my Google console. Uh, they're both under the same organization, swoopware.com. And you can see what's supposed to happen with Run Run Vids. Uh, now with Tandem Vids, so both those videos have started uploading. The uploading component is fairly straightforward. It pretty much just uploads the videos to YouTube. You can pause and resume videos if you like. And while they're uploading, I'll just show you the other tabs, the settings and advanced tab. As you can see, they're all pretty straightforward. There's not too many concerns in there. And Tandavids has been used all over the world to upload many, many skydiving videos. If you just put Swoopware into Google and and search for videos you'll see how many uploaded videos there are once the videos have been uploaded and processed by YouTube it generates an email and as soon as that email has been sent or deleted the videos are removed from our application you have to use your YouTube internet account to access them that's pretty much all there is to it thanks for watching I hope we can get this sorted as soon as possible cheers guys